be explaining the rule set for the Nomad Challenge that we'll be doing live on Twitch uh, for the next couple weeks. Um, the Nomad Challenge is the hardcore challenge, but taken just a little step further. Uh, the difference is, is that every raid when we go into a new raid, our stash must be completely empty. So uh, we'll still be able to sell things. We won't be able to buy anything from the traders. Uh, we'll be able to barter, but our stash will need to be empty. So anything that we do want to keep and hold on and use will need to be with us when we go into raid uh, or sold. So um, yeah, this video is going to explain the uh, rule set. So uh, hope to see you live on my Twitch channel. All right, the rules of the Nomad Challenge are simple. Number one, no flea market. Number two, we're only bartering with the traders. Uh, number three, cash is used for hideout quests and the death kit and uh, healing upon death from therapists as well. Number four, upon death, uh, we're gonna be given a predetermined kit. Uh, we'll be bought from level one traders and this will be known as the death kit. Um, number five is gonna be the cash stash system and it'll work as follows. Each map will have one stash point that will allow me to store items which can fit inside an alpha container in my stash inventory. Number two, items which need to be handed in for quests must be found in raid and subsequently stashed in the raid I currently am in. Number three, if I wish to stash an item for later use, that item must first be extracted with normally then stashed on the map of my choosing. Number four, Items which I want to pull from my stash must be pulled out from the stash point on the same map it was stashed in. Number five, all stash points will be organized within my stash for easy tracking. And number six, hideout items for upgrades which I'm currently in need of will be allowed to be stashed within a pilgrim. Uh, there's no pre-stashing or later upgrades for the hideout. Back to the rules, uh, the sixth rule, keys will be allowed to be placed in the container normally, as uh, this is to stop me from not getting quest locked. Uh, seven items given to me by normal players will not be allowed unless I've killed that player or that item is found in raid. Uh, rule number eight will be, I'll be allowed to play alongside other hardcore or nomad players only. Uh, number nine, other than stashed items, invent the, the inventory uh, must be completely empty upon entry into the next raid. And ten, the challenge is complete when I achieve max traders uh, and max level on all crafting stations within the hideout. So these are the rules. That's how the, the Nomad challenge is going to work.